Hello, welcome to 52 Hydra 3D. This is the f probably the first video I've made specifically for this new channel. Um, you can check out my other previous videos on the main 52 Hydra channel. Uh, they'll all still be up there. Today we're going to start a whole new series all about sci-fi. We're going to be doing a couple of different um, models from various sci-fi films and TV series is series is series series is. Um, yeah we're going to be doing that and today we're going to start off with a TARDIS from Doctor Who. Uh, we're just going to be doing the outside um, I might do a special in a few weeks um, for doing the inside as well but yeah today we're just going to be doing the outside so let's get started. I haven't got all that much YouTube upload time. Okay, so first thing we need to do is get a reference image. I've already found one. Um, it's in here somewhere. And yeah, here it is. Yeah, got this reference image. Um, I'll put a link in the description or maybe post it on my Facebook page um, and you just drag that into Blender and put it onto the drag it into the viewport. I've already worked out how big it needs to be so just go into the background images just if you have a size of two and just move it to so that it rests on the origin point. It's not being very happy today. Why won't it move at small increments? There we go, that's better. Okay, so that'll do. Then we can just grab this cube. In edit mode, we can scale it down. Like so. With this top face selected, we can use the inset tool and just select the new face we've created. And get it to about the right size. like so. Now we're going to want to, we don't want to have to model all of the, the TARDIS by doing each side so we can, if we divide it with a loop cut there, divide it with a loop cut there and can delete that, go into vertex mode, you can delete that as well. Now we've just got that and if we go over to the modifiers, add a mirror modifier. Where's the mirror gone? There it is. And we also want to add, if we go back into object mode, add an empty. Rotate it by 90 degrees. And go back to TARDIS, add an array modifier. Turn off relative offset, turn on object offset, and choose the empty. Change the count up to four. Now we've got it nicely set up, and we can turn off the empty's visibility and rename this base. This is just going to be the base of the TARDIS. So now we can select that edge and duplicate it. Shift D separate it by selection and now we've got second base object which we can rename walls go into object mo edit mode and move that to there extrude it up like so 
Um, okay. Probably made sense to do some of this first, but um, can then select this. And uh, if we turn on vertex snapping, we can extrude it up to this point there, like so. And again, we will. Oh, we haven't set up the uh, the top background image. So add a new background image. Just choose the same TARDIS plans. Change the size to two again, and have it as if we have the top one as only visible from the front. We can have the other one from only visible at the top. And size of two. Yeah, we've got that all done. Let me just get it so that this image fits nicely. Okay, something like that. It's fine, and then we can. Add a loop cut in there. I think oh no, we might not be able to do it like that. So we can use the knife tool. Just cut through there. Is that going to work? No, it's not. So we might have to just add in a loop cut like that. Make sure snapping's turned off. We can move that to there, and then grab this face. And extrude it inwards. And then delete these faces. Like so. And we probably want to delete the bottom face as well. And just go back into this part here. Turn on snapping again, and we can set this up to work so that it fits in nicely. Ah, delete that face and that face. Okay, then we can get back to here. And again, we want to inset this to an eye. Scale in like that. And then we can actually inset this again, make it really quite small. Oh no, we don't want to do that, sorry. We want to first extrude this in a little way, just a tiny amount. Be fine. Then inset it like that, and then move this out a tiny amount, an even tinier amount again, like that. Okay, so we can then go back to the modifiers panel and add another array modifier. This time, use the relative offset like that, and we can. Do that so we've got it all nicely coming together. How long have we got? Still got five minutes. And I'll just save this. Um, where's it going to go? Is my computer not accepting that one? Um, there we go. Okay, sorry about that. Right, so we've done the walls, we've done the base bit, or we have at least made a start. Um, we're going to now want to do the, the windows. So, the windows are pretty much the same as the walls, so we can just duplicate the object. So, we've got walls 001, rename it windows 
on the modifier panel we can get rid of that last array modifier we only need the uh, standard the um, the array modifier to make it circular or square um, so we can then just move this up as you would expect we're going to have some problems using now oh, there we are just get this to to snap nicely in there and we've got this object make sure you're always moving things in edit mode because if the origin point moves from that central place the array modifier is liable to go a bit wonky so we can now delete these faces and fill in with a new face just there and then just manually go in and put in the um, do that we need to turn snap off before doing any loop cuts just going to add in the window frame points like that and the last one there and then obviously one there one there one there and one there and we can then extru extrude the actual panes in a bit again that so that's quite nice so we've got to that point I'm just about out of YouTube upload time so I think we'll call it a day there I'll be back very soon um, with the next part uh, I'll put an annotation so you just click the screen now and you'll go to part two where we continue doing the roof and some more texturing